And I was very tired in shape. As you can see, I haven't been around a video for three weeks. So three weeks ago. Sometimes it's a good idea to actually let the beard go so you can see how the how the beard grows on your face. As I often mentioned to you, I have a trouble spot here. As you can see my hair goes like this there and this part it goes more like this. Same thing here. Goes like that. So when I and uh, the other so other and rest of the beard is just going north south. So when I do my third pass I try to do this type of motion here so I can go across the grain there and across the grain there and I do this motion here when I do the other side or both, both sides of these sides of these so I can get a clean nice shave. Uh, that's how my beard grows. So I uh, was thinking of maybe keep a, a good goatee but I think I'm gonna shave it off everything. <laughs> So let's start the shape. Oh, I'm gonna show the product first. Moon soap, the trade wind shaving soap from Moon Soap. This is really nice uh, scent. A little bit fruity, woody, uh, sweet scent. I like it very much. Uh, moon soaps are really great. I'm gonna finish with Brut. I think I'm gonna finish that last splash there. I got a couple of more of those bottles <laughs> in the basement. Frank Sternberg brush. Uh, with an Omega bow brush, a uh, nice ladder, nice big ladder, and the razor is going to be this Gizan of Ostov razor, the titanium, 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 it says there. Uh, hopefully, you can see the ah, some of that. <laughs> uh, real nice razor, 5 8 hollow grind uh, around the tip, and so on. So, this is going to be the weapon. I, if I remember right, I have a good edge on it. But I really don't remember. <laughs> so I take this brush because I can work it in my whiskers. This ladder really nice. So uh, yeah, I haven't been doing videos. Took a couple of days and I let the beard grow a little bit or hair grow in the face and went a week and I decided let's go for another day and another day and another day and another day and so on. So it's been three weeks since I shaved my beard. So, the people maybe think, why do you shave it off right now? It doesn't itch anymore, <laughs> but uh, I just fell for it. And as I told you, thinking about that goatee, but I uh, decided I'm not gonna keep it goatee. I can grow up a new goatee. The day was maybe to have a go to to Sweden Rock, uh, the rock festival, but no, I don't think so. My wife's gonna be happy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this uh, so I can really get it into the whiskers. What I have done? Nothing, of course. <laughs> you, uh, I haven't shaved, haven't done anything to, uh, what do you say, hone, hone videos, nothing at all. But the shaving has been blanked out for my life for three weeks. <laughs> Watching very, very few videos. I don't watch so many videos nowadays, but the ones X video, of course, I have to show, watch, and uh, uh, Peter Sutherland, no Peter Sutherland, what is his name, the Englishman. Did with the tomahawk axe. Those are what I watched at least. So that is that. Oh yeah, yesterday was actually a really nice day for me. I have done other things too. I bought things to my revolver. You know, I got that BB gun revolver. I bought a holster, so I can maybe show it in another video. But yesterday I went to a fish fishing uh, exhibition. Uh, let's start the show and talk. Meanwhile. Uh, Two and a half hours drive from where I live. Ah, this uh, edge is no issues at all. I think you have lots of whiskers there. Yeah, I was on that uh, fishing exhibition, really nice. Uh, me and a friend of mine went there and uh, 
I may also look at new things, no products, and maybe buy a reel to my fly fishing. I need a small reel, uh, but I didn't bought anything. Uh, one thing I bought, I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, I, I have mentioned in a video a long time ago, I follow a Swedish guy, Lutmaki Fishing. He's a bait builder uh, doing a uh, what do you say wobbles uh, fishing lures and a uh, lot of jigs and so on and I somehow like his videos very much they are informative you can learn actually if you want and you he do really nice lures and everything and i bought this is maybe not the previous but in a couple of videos ago he did this uh, banana fly he calls it <laughs> not so pretty but this uh, jig is for free you can take it in his monitor that we had in, in where he was in the exhibition and you can take one of these and then you decide how much you want to give to children's cancer fund. He uh, promotes that and he not, not nothing, he doesn't get anything from these pieces. So it's everything goes to the cancer fund and I decided I want to have that one. So that was one of the reasons to meet that guy. And here's a photo, I'm gonna, just a moment, I'm gonna do this first. Uh, of course, I'm gonna put this A YouTube channel on the video uh, description here, but uh, uh, I have been contacting him, uh, commenting his videos and so on, and talked to him a little bit in, in the videos and so. And uh, I met him, and of course I um, said who I was, and he said, "Oh, it's you, the, the guy Martin." <laughs> we started discussing a little bit, and I said, "I have to have a selfie." And he said to me, <clears throat> "Yeah, come in and in the booth where I am." Uh, he stands on the booth, you know, and there are a lot of people around and looking at his stuff and so on. He actually took the time and his colleague or friend that was there, you have to move a little bit. Uh, he wants to take a selfie with me, so I, I went into his booth and uh, took a selfie with him. And of course, I'm the fat guy on the right side, if you see the photo, <laughs> I'm going to show you in a minute. And uh, I was really fun. Look at the photo here. Meanwhile, I'm going to put the ladder on my face. Uh, as you can see, this first photo here, it's, it's not so pretty. <laughs> my fat belly is in the, in the air and so on. <laughs> I decided uh, when you see, as you can see on the photo there, I have to shave. I look doesn't look so pretty. So um, now clean shaven. Hopefully I look a little bit better. Not of course, not so pretty as you want to notice, but still prettier than a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> and that guy is really a nice guy. So he decided, I had to talk to him a little bit and then I have to go look at other things on the event. I was a fishing pool. I was live fishing and the pro baits. Of course, with no no uh, hooks on, so see how the fish reacts to different baits and uh, a lot of things. Really big exhibition. Uh, it was really fun. It was too crowded to be. Uh, a lot of people as hell. So as I told you, I tried to buy some. Maybe just find some uh, uh, reel to my fly rod, a smaller class, class three, four, maybe something like that. But there was too much people. I haven't 
the energy to go in front and look. Of course, I watched a little bit of things there, but I didn't bought anything. Uh, neither did I, my friend. It was really fun. One of the things was to meet his, this guy, Lutnaki Fishing. We call him Hase Mike. <laughs> his name is Mike. But sometimes he says Hase Mike and it's stuck to me. And a lot of people call him Hase Mike. <laughs> I don't really don't know why, but it's a nickname at least. Some kind of nickname. And he. Sometimes when you do videos, you say the big famous YouTuber has a mic. So <laughs> it was actually the first thing I said when I met him. Uh, there you are, your big famous YouTuber has a mic. And he just grinned and had a laugh. And then I get into the booth and took a selfie. And yeah, that was fun. That's really fun. Then I actually met A real celebrity. Uh, sorry, Hasi Mike, but uh, this guy is a real celebrity. He's a, uh, just a moment. It's a guy that doing TV documentaries of fishing, uh, wildlife, and so on. Been doing that for, I think maybe something like thirty years. Uh, really nice guy. His videos. Uh, uh, our films he do is really really nice. Uh, he films some parts himself and so on. And uh, it's documentaries about fishing. It could be documentaries about eels. Uh, we have an issue here in Sweden. All these uh, what they call dams we have here in Sweden. Uh, of these they try to get some electricity from. They destroy the pathway for fish and eels and so on so nowadays it's forbidden here to fish for eel some people have permission to do it in south of sweden and so on but the eel is almost extinct we here so we did a documentary about that uh, political decisions and everything really really nice and the videos are really great and uh, he got an Maybe not an Oscar, but he was in USA and got the prize for the best documentary was this Fiskarnas Rike. I'm going to put some links to these, of course. Uh, and when I met him, I, the friend I was with, he saw him first. Uh, the plan was to listen to him and uh, we couldn't get in time, so we missed that. So suddenly we were walking there, he saw it. my friend said, oh, there he is, who? And then I saw him, I put up my camera and take a, take a quick photo, you can see the photo here first. And uh, his name is Martin Falklind. Uh, in my opinion, a big celebrity here in Sweden in nature filming and, and so on and so on. So, me and my mouth, of course, after I took the photo, oh, I took just a photo of his, it was that, I hope that was okay, and shook his hands and, and, and um, he said, no, no, no problem. Can I take a selfie with you? <laughs> and he said, of course you can do it, take a selfie. And my friend was there and he's a much more shy guy than I am. <laughs> so he... Uh... He... Um... Took the self I took a selfie with him first with my phone and sent it to him afterwards. And uh, after that, I can see him here. Uh, after that, it was time for me to take a selfie with him. And uh, I was really stoked. <laughs> Starstruck when I met both of these guys, uh, the Lutmaki Fishing and that uh, Martin Falklin. And uh, of course, my friend was a little bit 
would you say, more shy. <laughs> Uh, he was just standing there, and I was taking his hand again and thank you he's, for his job is done with the video, the uh, film and everything. And he just smiled and went away. So, Metsa Cabalon, celebrities there. <laughs> it's really fun actually. And it's, uh, I can't rinse water here now, <laughs> but it's. Uh, too much whiskers in the in the sink here, but I'm uh, going to do a quick rinse and clean that, and I'll be back just in a moment. Just a moment. Yeah, we're back. That felt really nice. The edge was really awesome. Ah, maybe a little bit there, a little, maybe a little there, a little. But in half an hour, it will be a BBS shave. I promise you. That felt really nice. Now I look hopefully a little bit better. And my wife's gonna be happy at least. <laughs> yeah, so that was that weekend. And after that, uh, when I came home, it was two and a half hours drive to that place uh, in, in a young shopping place in Sweden. In, uh, as I told, two and a half hours drive. Then I came home. And meanwhile, my wife and my daughter was on a musical in Malmö, one hour two from here, and uh, that musical ended like 10 o'clock in the evening. So there are what issues with the train station here, a couple of 20, 30 minutes from here, 20 minutes from here, and they uh, had to stop all the trains. So they couldn't take the train there, so they took the bus to the event in the Malmö, and they asked me if I could. Oh, they told me how they're gonna get home from the bus and so on later this evening. So I told them I can get, get you. So I drove two and a half hours to the event exhibition, two and a half hours home, took a sleep one hour, and uh, after that I drove to Malmö for one hour, <laughs> and then came home. And it was twelve o'clock in the night, and it was long time to go to bed. <laughs> so it was really fun. Nice day too yesterday. So now. I'm a new man, newborn man, really nice. Ah, it feels, feels really awesome. This soap, uh, moon soaps, it doesn't matter. I have two or three of these soaps. Moon soaps are really nice soaps. Uh, nice scents, nice uh, base and everything works just great. And Brut, actually have a, for one more shade left. Um, like Brut really much. And my shade on supplies, uh, brush with Omega Ball brush, like it very much. Doesn't so pretty in the beginning when you have start to use those brushes, but after a while it op opens up and it works really, really nice. And this beautiful, beautiful Gies and Hoff, Gies and Hoff Hof razor. So, uh, really nice titanium razor, like this very much. And the edge was perfect, no issues at all. No, this is an ingle for some I have had, I felt it a couple of days ago, but start to heal. So, now my wife's going to be really happy. <laughs> Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great, great Sunday. Next weekend I'm going to my friend, my fish on the pond. I did a video a couple of months ago. I don't really remember. This autumn, uh, last autumn. So I'm going to go fish there. Maybe film something for hope, take some photos, of course, and so on. But that's going to be the next and next weekend's uh, activities. So thanks for watching. Have a great, great Sunday. And we shall see you next time, whatever it is. Bye for so long, everybody. Bye-bye.